So I want to talk about opioids and the crisis and then other drugs on top of that. Okay, so you have people that want to get high and then you have people that are in pain. Okay, two different categories here. You know, it makes people that are suffering look bad when you have so many people taking drugs for no reason. You know, the problem also too is it's a big thing in this country. It is. But you have to consider the fact too, a lot of people get on these drugs and they, you know, you get addicted. You get used to taking over several years. Now you have a point of yourself self-control when you can taper off these drugs and go a natural way of not having such high side effects from withdrawals. Now, the crisis thing, though, in this country is the fact they also have to take fault for this. Not not just the people that want to get high, but there are a majority of people that want to get help. Now, those people cannot get help half the time because of the rehabs will not let you in, you know, for several months. And then you, if you can't drive to get to the rehab, then you're having an issue. So you're going through withdrawals then. On top of that, hospitals will not take you if you're withdrawing. So now, at this point, you see the problem. There's two things that need to be changed. Hospitals should help you when you're withdrawing, and you should be able to get into rehabs. If you were consistently trying to get help, these are the two things that should be changed here in this, in this country. This is how I feel. I think it would benefit so much more with helping and eliminate some of the process and things that go on with people that are on drugs for no reason. So share this, like this. Uh, if you guys agree, hopefully this uh, pinpoints something and helps somebody out. Thank you.